All right, so today I'm going to show you how to draw this daisy and have it look realistic, but in pencil and also in fine liner pen. So we're going to be doing a drawing of pencil and then I'm going to have you guys put in um, textural lines with the fine liner pen. So if you don't have one of these fine liner pens, you can use a gel pen or even a ballpoint pen. And one thing I want you to notice before we get started is to look at the flower. Notice that the center is an oval shape, the flower itself is an oval shape, and the petals in the back are long and flat, while the edge ones here are curved and the very front ones are short. So to be able to make this look like a realistic flower, we have to draw the petals the shape that they are. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my pencil and I'm going to draw an oval shape for the center of my flower. And for the back petals, I'm going to draw a few perfect shaped ones just like this and then I'm going to space them apart just like this. And that's the back of my, of my flower. Now as the flower starts coming around to the front, the petals are going to start turning and getting bent. So I'm going to put some bench sized ones here just like this. And the same thing up here. Just like this. So they're a little bit bent. Now on this side, as I'm coming around, and you can make a guideline as you want to keep it so that it gets shorter in the front. I'm going to put a few just like this. And I'm spreading them out because I want to have layers of petals. So not all of them are going to be perfect. So some of them are going to be behind. So now that I have a few spread out, I can start putting the ones that are peeking out from behind. And to make this look realistic, we want to make sure that each petal doesn't end up exactly at the same space, right? Some of them are going to be a little shorter, some of them are going to be a little longer. We want it to be more of a random look. So I'm going to do one here, and then I'm going to put a little short one in right here. And then here, I'm going to do one right behind these two, just like this. And one right there. And the same thing here. Just like that. And another little one behind. And some of them are turning towards the side. Just like so. There's a little bit longer one there. And now I'm going to start putting in a little petal that's a little to its side. down a little further and over here I have some bent ones like this and just like so. So now in all the empty spaces between I'm going to put a few more petals in just to fill it in like so. All right so that's the first layer. Now if you look back at our reference photo, there's a whole other layer of petals behind this front layer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase my guidelines now with my little baby eraser. going to make some room for my next layer of petals. So starting about right here, I'm going to put in some behind the flower petals. And again, we want to stagger them 
so that they have a natural look. And just like so. There's some pointy ones and there's some round ones. And down here, we're gonna put a few more in. We really want nice layers of petals behind. So, and there's going to be a few more peeking out behind here. Just like that. Okay. And then instead of doing the base, I'm going to put a simple stem. So we have to imagine that the stem's coming from the middle of my flower. So I'm just going to draw an imaginary line and a stem. And these Gerber daisies have pretty thick stems, so I'm going to do a nice little stem just like that. All right, so that's my beginning sketch. Now I'm going to start coming in and doing some textural work with my pen. So for the center, I'm going to do a kind of scribbly looking pattern, and I'll do it here for you can see. I'm going to do kind of a this, Make little circle-y bumps, right? All right. So, I'm gonna go around the outside like this first, just to give it a little texture. Because the center of the flower is fuzzy, so we wanna give it a little fuzzy texture. And then I'm gonna start filling in. And as I go around, I'm gonna do more and more of this squiggly texture and it's going to make a little bit of a pattern but that's okay because I'm going to go back over it and do some shading so this is just all about getting line texture into your drawing and you always want to choose a pattern that suits whatever your subject is so if I have a really bumpy middle of the flower then I'm going to do a bumpy texture now on this side I'm going to do an extra line, and I'm doing it a little tighter just to give it a nice shadow because the light of my flower is coming from this area. It's pointing down on the flower, so all of this part is going to be in the light, and then this part's going to be in the dark. And the center of my flower is very dark, so I'm going to go in and darken that up, and then I'm going to come in and just do a few random little darker areas to give it some more depth and texture. And then I'm going to outline each and every petal. And that's going to take a little while. And I'm using a very fine point. And I want to try and make the tips very similar. So if you're doing a pointy tip, try and keep all the tips kind of pointy. If you're doing a round tip, then try and keep the same shape. And some of my petals are skinny because they flip to their sides, and some of them are longer. all drawn out and then I'm going to stop my video and do a part two to keep my videos shorter since I have an older phone and it is more difficult for me to upload large videos. So this will be part one where I just outline everything and then come back in part two to see all the texturing I put in on the petals. And here's your chance to take a look at what you've drawn and change the shape of any of the petals that you maybe don't like. And you can look and see if there's any areas you want to put a new one in 
anything that's missing, tidy up your lines. I'm going to put the stem in here just like this. And I think I like this pretty much. I'm going to put one more little petal over here, maybe one more here. Just want it to be nice and full, lots of petals. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna erase my pencil lines. You go ahead and do that. And then I want you to click on video two to finish our little daisy line drawing. Thanks, bye.